Hello and welcome to the first spoiler video about the upcoming DLC for The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, thematically named Afterbirth. In this series I will analyze different thesis pictures and spoilers that have been released for the new DLC. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure not to miss any updates, for I will play the golden poop out of the Afterbirth once it gets released. Now, let's get cracking and dive into these sweet teasers. First up, we got a small, a small analysis of all the new features this DLC will add to the game. First up, a hundred plus new items will be released. That means a massive amount of new combos to make and find, all to eventually break the game in the most insane way possible. A very interesting thing is that we will also get a new playable character named Lilith. I will be discussing her in one of my future videos, but for right now, I'm keeping everything st streamlined with the updates we got, to make, to make sure that I don't mess stuff up. <laughs> now, the game will also contain a completely new alternative path, like the game and a new game ending too. We have no idea as of right now what it will be, but if I had to guess, besides the chest and the dark room, we will have a completely different themed floor with a brand new end boss. Let the speculation begin about who this might be. Now, for those who have played The Binding of Isaac a lot, there is a small change. The game might there's a small chance the game might get a tiny bit repetitive. Even though every run is completely different, not a single run is the same. Uh, cue a completely new game mode. Now this is a pretty big surprise. Once we get information about this. I'll be sure to make a video about it, because this, this, is only just, this just proves to be very interesting. We already have the option to insert special kinds of seeds in the game, for example the key phrase basement, which would result in an endless basement run. Now imagine something completely different that will flip the whole game plan upside down. This can only be awesome and very challenging. And I will surely keep the play. It will surely keep the players busy and add a lot of variety to the game. Now, we all love or hate the cellar, an alternative path to the basement in the first two floors. Well, things are about to get even stranger and creepier. Afterbirth will contain new alternative floors. This means even more variety in Isaac runs. New floors also means new enemies, just like how the cellar contains a lot of spiders. And this also means new bosses at the end of each floor. <laughs> we gotta get cracking and make some tactics to defeat these new bosses. And who knows, maybe the boss rush room might get an overhaul with these new bosses. Only time can tell. What we do know for sure is that a new floor will also bring a new music track with it. Afterbirth will contain at least six new music tracks even more variety to please our ears. Will it be as spooky and creepy as the cathedral song? Next up is the phrase, a lot of new super secrets. What does this mean? If I have to guess, it will be completely different from the secret rooms. It will just be, we've got this normal secret room, and we got the top secret room. We will most likely, if I have to guess, get a third, a super, super secret room with new features hidden inside them. Who knows? Perhaps even the third kind of secret room. Uh, better get our x ray vision and stare at some walls. Now, new items, new bosses, and new floors can only mean one thing a massive amount of new achievements. <laughs> Good luck to everyone trying to get the famous, the real Platinum God, or even a brand new new title, who knows. And of course, Afterbirth will contain more poop. Rebirth introduces rainbow poops, which when destroyed, will restore all your red hearts. So what could new poops possibly do? Maybe tactical advantages? Damage all enemies in the room? Perhaps a pile of poop with a bomb in it that will explode once you destroy it? Or are we simply talking about more poop piles in the game? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that is quite a lot to swallow. 
but the first update also recruit one new item to us the friend ball the friend ball will be a space bar item with a room recharge of four and a very special effect ever want to become a pokemon master in isaac well your dream is slightly coming true the friend ball when used shoots out and kills any enemy it hits now this already sounds pretty sweet but it gets better when used a second time it spawns the enemy it killed into the room with the added charm effect on that specific monster for the duration of that room so it would just attack everything so who's gonna try and capture a big dinga poop or maybe a mullaboom or maybe even the holy leech a kamikaze leech oh this is gonna only get really awesome the friend ball will insta kill any non boss enemy so Unfortunately, no capturing your own Dingle or Mega Satan. So yeah, no defeating a possible new boss with Mega Satan. That's just not gonna work. But yeah, that's it for today's update. Afterbirth is already proven to be quite interesting. This is only the first teaser update. Subscribe now and stay up to date with all my daily uploads. And don't miss anything. Now have a very nice day. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!